Today we are here with Harry Waters and Don Buckle, who left us in the sixth form this time last year to move to Liverpool to further their studies. So we're going to be chatting to them today about why they chose their course, why they chose the uni that they're going to, and to ask them if they've got any tips that they might want to pass on to our current year 12s who are thinking about moving to university, applying to university this year. So thank you fellas for joining us. It's lovely to see you both today. It's an absolute pleasure. Can, can I start by asking you both individually <coughs> to introduce yourself, talk a little bit about your course and where you're studying. Harry, let's start with you. Okay, I am Harry Waters. I am studying mathematics with finance and I am studying at the University of Liverpool. Brilliant. What, what A-levels did you do at sixth form, Harry? I did maths, physics and history. Excellent. Across to you, Dom. Uh, hello, uh, I'm Dom Buckle. I'm studying sports psychology uh, at Liverpool Hope University, also in Liverpool. And what I, I did psychology, geography and PE at A-level. So... Firstly, when did you know that these were the subjects that you wanted to go on and study? And how did you go about choosing the course that you are now studying? Over to you, Dom. Okay, so, what are you talking about A-levels when you say... No, your degree. When did you know that this is what you wanted to go on and do? Uh, well, obviously, because I did psychology and PE at A-level, they were the two that I mostly enjoyed out of my my subject so I kind of looked for a course which brought those both together I guess so and then sports psychology does that perfectly so uh, I think I decided that I didn't know that in year 12 I was thinking more physio in year 12 but then when I've just started to um, like grow to like psychology more that's when I um, chose sports psychology I think it was about the start of year 13 but I, I didn't have like, a proper idea until midway through year 13 I'd say. Okay and how did you choose the course that you're now on? Um, I went on, I can't remember what website it is, I just searched, you can like put in the, the course you want to do and then what like your predicted grades and stuff and then it shows you, it like ranks all the um, universities for that course but I knew I wanted to go to Liverpool 100% because my mum's from there and I've heard it is amazing so and it has proven to be amazing so yeah that's mainly how I decided. Okay, okay. How about you Harry? Well <clears throat> um, I had no idea what I was going to do when I started my A-levels but at the start I think in year 12 I wanted to I was looking at going into like engineering something like that but as soon as I started physics A-levels I knew that that was not going to happen because it was so hard like I found it really hard. So I started to look into other sort of areas of math because math has always been what I've been good at. So I wanted to stick with that, but I didn't know what sort of area to go into. And then I think in year 13, I sort of started thinking that just doing a pure maths course would have been too intense. I don't think I would have enjoyed that that much. Um, so I was looking into different areas I could go into. And um, yeah, I kind of just looked at finance um, because I thought it was it was a useful sort of sector to learn about and to go into like it's always going to be a useful thing to go into in the future so I kind of just that's ma the main reason I chose to do it I had never really done anything in finance before but okay. I just wanted to I just didn't want to go straight into maths just on its own because I don't think I would have enjoyed it as much and actually it's proved like I'm glad I chose it because it's actually been really interesting um, so how did you then once you decided that finance was the path how did you then choose the university that you're now at well, originally, my first choice of university was Leeds um, because they had really good, when I went to see it, they had really good facilities and I really liked the city. And I, would, I didn't go to see Liverpool until like, almost a year later. I think it was like last March that I first went to see Liverpool. Um, so I wanted to put those two as my top two choices just because I really liked the unis and because they had really good facilities for what I wanted to do. And yeah, I didn't get into Leeds, but I did get into Liverpool, so... I'm really, I'm really glad I went to Liverpool instead anyway. So. so did you put Liverpool as your insurance choice? Yeah, yeah, it was my okay. second choice. And what are you enjoying most about the course? About the course? 
Um, I'd probably, um, I reckon it's actually, I like having the finance on the side as well as the maths because actually it means that I'm not always focus, focusing on the same things. I have, a, I have another thing to come to as well. So I think doing a course where you have two different things is actually proven to be really interesting because yeah, that's good. it means that you have a you know, you can apply a variety of skills yeah, and yeah. Like, different things but also i think meeting like all the new people on my course as well has been really fun i've got a got a good group of people who went to barcelona with with my math society so that was that was fun so um, yeah. the math society gets to go to barcelona what did you do yeah. in barcelona well, that related to maths, whenever, I, whenever i tell people that i went with the math society they think like oh you so you went and did like loads of sums and stuff you're just going there to do math stuff and i was like no like all we did was go there and like basically went on holiday but <laughs> it just it was just like it's just for people who do math to go and get away and like meet other people who do maths over like over the three years like I met, I met third years, second years who were doing the same course as me. So it was a good way of meeting new people and getting to have a good time in Barcelona as well. So, so before I go on to you, Dom, one more question for you, Harry. What yeah. are you finding challenging about your course? The actual maths is hard. It is hard. Like, um, it's yeah. That's, that's that is it it's really hard maths i'm but, sure I mean, you told me at some point that we are you the um, one of the only people on your course who didn't do economics a level probably and also further maths as well i never did further maths okay and there's quite a few people who didn't do further maths but that is also something that has like made the maths a lot harder for me because okay. a lot of people studied the stuff that we'd study at uni in further maths okay so, so that's interesting. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that if you haven't studied further math, you can't go on to a maths course because you can. Yeah. It's just a bit harder. Okay. So, Dom, what are you jo enjoying and finding challenging about your course? Um, well, the things I, I reckon I'm enjoying the most is with my course, um, obviously, psychology is all about experiment, experimenting and research and stuff like that. So, on the side, they do these like, they're called Sona credits. So, and you have to get 25 by the end of the year, but I actually really enjoy them. So you sign up to participate in, because obviously all the lecturers are psychologists themselves, so they're, they're always researching. And so they've all got, always got um, like experiments going on. So they use us first years as participants for their studies. So which I, it is really interesting. Like it was stuff like I was put in like a pitch black room with like a black bag thing over my head so I couldn't see a thing and I was just staring at a computer screen straight in front of me and you had to like click it's, it was all about reaction time so like when you saw a colored dot come up you click one letter and something else like that it's just like really random things that you just would have never done before with I'm just yeah I'm just really enjoying stuff like that excellent but yeah what, uh, about, what have you found challenging what have I found challenging well, the, the, uh, the thing I found challenging, they expect, they expect you to do a lot of like, further reading, which is, well, no, it's good, like obviously I do it, but when it's not taught to you and you have to go away and do it yourself, I don't know, it's like, as long as well as like essays and revision and all of that stuff. So, uh, the extra reading I find a bit, I don't have much motivation to do it, but I do always end up doing it. Okay. Most of the time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, in terms of a day at uni for both of you, obviously at the moment it's not normal, but before we went into this situation, what did a normal day and a normal week look like for each of you? What about you, Harry? Um, so I'd normally have at least one lecture or tutorial a day. Yeah. So I'd, be, I'd be in uni every day, um, but it would depend what time. So sometimes I'd have nine, I'd have nine o'clock. Other times I wouldn't start till two. Um, so I'd go in, go to a lecture, take notes, stuff like that. And then, so that's in lectures and then tutorials will be like smaller groups where you have specific tasks to complete. Um, or 
or you'll have like seminars, which again is like smaller groups. But um, I had homework to do every week, like to hand in each week. So I'd sometimes go to the library afterwards and like do my homework for the week, or I'd just go back to my flat and just chill out. So, but, how many hours did you have a week? Um, I think about 10, okay. 10 hours of actual, like I had to be in uni. Yeah, yeah. But and I think, how many how many people were on your course or are on your course well it's it's i don't know it's hard to say because that i share a lot of my lectures with people who are just on the maths course okay um because obviously we study similar things but then people doing actual maths and finance i'm not sure there's probably about 300 something like that a few hundred okay but I, yeah I, it'll be hard to say to be honest okay how about you dom um, yeah, well, I'm similar. I had 12 hours contact time, I think, first year, which I think I think that decreases second year. But anyway, in first year, so I think I drew, drew the short straw. Actually, I had a fair few 9 a.m. starts, like four, four times a week. I had to be up for a lecture or something at nine o'clock. But then, I feel so bad for you, Dom. Oh, tell me, especially especially with the uni life. But um, so you have. Yeah, as what Harry said, you'd have like a, uh, on my day normally went tutorial, which are, no, lecture, which is a, typically one hour, and then seminar, which is about two hours, and then tutorial, which is an hour. But you would rarely have all three on the same day. I only had about one or two days with all three on the same day. So uh, with, to be, the good thing about the 9am starts is that you're, fin you're normally finished uni by about, 12-ish so then you've got the whole of the rest of the day to just catch up on work or I don't know chill out with your friends and stuff but <laughs> yeah how, how many people are on your course Dom? Uh, well my my uni is actually quite small so and it also I'm, I'm the same as Harry it's quite hard to tell because on the psychology stuff because obviously sports psychology in first year I'm in in the core psychology lectures so I'm doing lectures with all the core psychology and then in the core sports lectures. So I'm not, it's not just, yeah. just sports psychology lectures, but in the psychology one, I think there's about 200. And in the sport one, there's literally about 40 or 50 of us. Okay. There's not many in the sport one, but yeah. Okay. So yeah. And now the, the fun bit of university, what do you, what are the good things and what are the challenges about university life outside of your course? The nightlife is pretty extraordinary. <laughs> now, in, a place like, in a place like Liverpool, because it's actually quite, like, quite a small city, like everything's so close together. So, and that makes it so good on nights out because you can literally just walk into the city, go to a club or, or a bar or a pub or something. Like there's so many places to go and um just chill out and that's why we do it so much <laughs> because it's just there <laughs> like it's just so easy um but yeah that's definitely one of the best things i'd say okay so would you both say that you've enjoyed your first year of university yes 100 percent. to say yeah 100 yeah. would you have done anything differently um, in terms of at the actual experience i don't think so because i don't think i would no because I don't think I would. It's, it's like you get to experience what it's like to be independent and like live on your own and buy your own food and like clean your own place and stuff like that and i know yeah i know <laughs> yeah, to be fair the only time i clean is if i had like my sister was coming to stay or if my parents were coming up that's that's the only time I've really cleaned, but but it, it was not too interesting, bad. Interesting, Harry. Interesting. Not I mean, right. in my room and stuff yeah, like that. Okay. Yeah. So, if you could pass across any words of wisdom around budgeting or you know the finance side, would you've done anything like that differently around that differently? Uh, I'm I'm quite happy with the way I did it to be honest because when my student loan comes in, so obviously you get a you get a sum of it every at the start of every term. I I bank transfer the whole of what I've just got to my dad, and then he sends me sends me it weekly. 
That so sounds I, like a great idea, Dom. That is, that is very clever. Yeah. I think if I had it all in my bank at once, I would just look at it and be like, "Oh, shopping spree," something like that, and just, I don't know, just do something stupid. <laughs> That's so, literally what I did for the whole time. Yeah, that is what you did. <laughs> so, so you did it differently then, Harry? Well, yeah, because I just had my whole lot in my bank account, and I, I had a mental plan of like, this is how much I can spend a week. But I mean, when it's all there, it's really hard to stick to that, obviously. I mean, to be fair, in both of my term, in both of the terms that we were up in Liverpool, I didn't go into my overdraft. So I saw that as a success. I didn't remind, me what you're, remind me what you're studying what? again, Harry. <laughs> Math with finance. That's some finance. Yeah, so I've been budgeting and I didn't go into my overdraft. That's a success. <laughs> I didn't even have to get an overdraft. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> if you were to think back let's go back over a year now when you had to go through the whole application process UCAS personal statements interviews can you think of any tips that you might give to the current year 12s just about to go into year 13 who are just about to start this process yeah I'm, go on. oh okay um i would say i feel like i kind of just i always had it in the back of my mind and it needed to be done but i just kept putting it off so i i just and then which meant that i i i literally i looked at one university or no two and I'd, I'd advise that you go and look at them 100% because I, I ended up going to look at one or two and then where I hadn't seen any other universities, I was just flying through and picking any random name of a uni and putting it on my choice, which it, that was the most stupid thing I think I did. But yeah, that's, that's what I would say to not do. How about you, yeah, Harry? Like, just like do your research. Make sure that you're picking the best uni for you. Like... For whatever you want to do like base just look at every aspect of it like the social side because you want to if you think you're an outgoing person you want to look for a uni in a, like a city or somewhere like sociable and yeah just make sure you do your research basically i mean it's going to be tough for many of our year 12s because yeah, true, actually, they yeah. can't go and have proper open days but there are lots of virtual open days that yeah. unis are doing now where they're doing tours there you can still do the Q&A with tutors so there's still the option but where they can to try and at least even get to the city when they can because you know that when you get to a city you either love it or you don't yeah. don't yeah. you get you get that feeling which yeah. you both clearly did when you went to Liverpool yeah um, yeah the research is so so important mm. so what do you hope to um do on leaving university have either of you thought that far ahead yet i think i'm definitely because because i obviously went straight into university after uh finishing my a levels i'm definitely going to take a year out and go traveling because yeah it's just something i've always wanted to do so i'm definitely going to do that and then i need to do a master's uh, when I get back from that, because like to get a, a job as like a professional sports psychologist, you need to have a master's. So, okay. Do you, do you think that you might do that somewhere differently, Dom? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think I might go. I'm going to go to maybe Loughborough or some somewhere like that, like somewhere where, where it's like top for sport and sports psychology and stuff. So, yeah. And I, I, don't, I think when you're doing a master's, you'll be focused a bit less on going out and stuff like that. So it won't really matter too much, but you never know. <laughs> okay. What about you, Harry? To be honest, I have no idea what exactly I want to do. I mean, I, again, the same as Don, I'm definitely going to do a bit of traveling before I find myself a career. But I think the more, the more I've like, gone through this year, like as I've carried on with my studies, I think it's becoming more clear that I'll go into something in the finance sector because that's the area that I've enjoyed studying the most. And I think it's the, like, it's what I understand the most. And I think I'd, I'd do well in that sort of area, but I've got no idea what exactly I'm going to do, to be honest. Okay. But I guess yeah. you've still got two years. Exactly. I've still got a lot of time. 
yeah, I think, yeah, I'm not in any rush, to be honest. Yeah. But you're both glad that you took the university route. I am very glad. It's, it's such a good experience. Because it now, because you meet so many new people, and yeah. literally, we know people like all over the country now, and we've got you know, people from different countries. <laughs> literally, I don't know. Yeah, definitely, I'd recommend it 100. Now, you two obviously were mates before you went to university. Even though you're at different universities, you're in the same city. How do you think it would have been different if you'd have gone to a university and you knew? nobody in the city do you think it would have been different i think uh, i don't know i think yeah it would have because i i see dom and nick a lot like i do meet up with them a lot and it's it's nice to have them there because it's like it's someone like, it's people i've known for years so i can always just go and see them like it's, it's comfortable um but i don't think it would have been like worse if they weren't there I think it's just more of an opportunity to meet more new people. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, and also because obviously we're where me and where I'm more out of the city centre by about like ten minutes or something. I'm not like Nick and Harry meet up with each other all the time, but I I, I kind of see it as I have Nick and Harry there, but at the same time, if I didn't, I think it would have been fine. Like because I've still made great friends at my uni and stuff like that so I, I think honestly wherever you go you'll always you'll always make good friends so yeah and and yeah you, you're gonna meet people that are like you like that's yeah. what surprised me actually because in my flat this kid nick this other nick um is literally like the exact same as me just from huddersfield yeah. but <laughs> it's just it's just crazy there are two of you harry <laughs> there are two of you I know, I know. It's just crazy how you meet like people who are literally like so similar to you. Yeah, I found that as well. I've, I, I guess, know. you know, you've got all of those people who are all lovers of maths. Yeah. You know, in yeah. one, yeah, in one who, who would have thought it? Who would have thought it? It's, it's heavenly. And it's not even, even if you don't have, make friends in your accommodation and stuff, you've, there's so many other places, I don't know, nights out, your courses just round the uni everywhere yeah have you had a chance to visit any of your other mates at other universities we've, and we've been has, have their experiences been the same as yours in the fact that they've loved it as much as you have <clears throat> yeah we've been to dylan who's in manchester who's up which is obviously just like a 50 minute train journey away so we've been a fair few times there and he is absolutely loving it as well and as, as we were saying before, he, he went there not knowing anyone from home mm. and he's made amazing friends. So it just proves that it doesn't actually really matter yeah. if you go with someone you know or not. But yeah, we do. Where, have we been anywhere else? No. Well, you've been over to see Dan. Oh, yeah. in Sussex, see Dan at Sussex Uni and he's loving that as well. But yeah. Literally, I don't know one person who's gone to uni who doesn't like it. Yeah, I think everyone, everyone we know has, has had a really good time so far. Yeah. Well, that is a great, great bit on which to end. Too right. Thank you very much, fellas. It has been lovely to see you. And thank you for passing your words of wisdom across to our current students now in year 12, but also other students who may be already in year 10, 11, thinking about going to university, your words of wisdom will be taken on board. So thank you so much. We look, I look forward to keeping track of where you're going and yeah. um, seeing, where, seeing where you end up. Yeah. Thank you very much, fellas. I will speak to you soon. Perfect. Right. Good to see you soon, Claire. See you bye soon. bye. See ya. Bye.